back to another chemistry video. Today I'm going to talk about the process of making synthetic diamonds. So what are synthetic diamonds in a nutshell? Synthetic diamonds are laboratory grown diamonds and they are cheaper than earth born diamonds. And thus, they are growing popular in the diamond industry. The early days of synthetically producing diamonds reached far back into the late 1790s when scientists discovered that all diamonds were made out of pure carbon. It isn't until long after World War II, research labs around the world stated to have the proper materials to produce synthetic lab-grown diamonds. Of course, there has to be some technical barriers to in producing stuff, and so there are technical barriers, barriers in producing synthetic diamonds. It has been a long time challenge to convert graphite to diamond. From a chemistry point of view, carbon prefers to form into a different hexagonal structure from a diamond atomic structure. The conversion normally only works at temperatures of well above 1700 K and presses in excess of 12 gigapascals, which is why diamond is so rare and valuable. Here are some technical innovations for synthetic diamonds. G the GE Diamond Project played a key role in inventing high temperature and high pressure equipment to make commercially successful synthetic diamonds. In 1941, GE engineers were able to heat carbon about 37 degrees Celsius, which is 5,430 5, degrees in Fahrenheit, under a pressure of 3.5 gigapascals for a few seconds. The GE produced the first synthetic gem quality diamond crystals in 1970 by using a container that was heated and pressurized to about 5.5 GBA. In the 1950s, a process by pyro pyrolysis of hydrocarbon gases at the relatively low temperature of 800 degrees Celsius, which is 1,470 Fahrenheit, was invented to make the synthetic diamond. This low pressure process is known as chemical vapor deposition. Dirigen and Fedosev in 1970 succeeded in making diamond films on non-diamond materials, such as silicon and metals, which led to an inexpensive diamond coatings in the 1980s. The, here are some major processes of making synthetic diamonds. High pressure and high press, the first step the first method is the high pressure and high temperature method. The scientists use a diamond sieve. It is then placed into a piece of carbon. The carbon is then pressurized, pressurized into 1.5 million pounds per square inch by a press. Carbon is exposed to temperatures over 2,700 Fahrenheit, which melts a solvent metal. The molten metal dissolves to high purity carbon source. Then the diamond forms around the diamond seed to form a large synthetic diamond. The second method that is used to create synthetic diamonds is the chemical vapor deposit deposition. Unlike HPHT, which is the first method that we discussed about, CVD does not require high pressures. This process is simple and flexible with the ability to grow diamond over large areas and on various substrates and they find control over the chemical impurities and properties of the synthetic diamonds. It uses a diamond seed in a sealed chamber at a temperature over 1,400 Fahrenheit. It uses carbon-rich gases. The seed is then ionized into plasma and breaks down molecular bonds of gases. The pure carbon sticks to the seed to grow new diamonds. So how is synthetic diamonds more worth than natural diamonds. Well, synthetic diamonds are cheaper. It takes less time to form. However, natural diamonds are a big pain to mine. They are expensive and it takes too long for them to grow. However, both diamonds are similar in their properties and they look li literally the same. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation and hope you've learned more about synthetic diamonds.